Hello everyone and welcome to A Nightmare's Trip by Sky Hour Works. This was provided to me by the developers, so thanks on for them. And this game comes out, uh, well, it'll be t -t -t today, the day the game, uh, well, the day, uh, the day the video goes out, which is Monday of 7th. So let's just get right into it. I don't know a whole lot about this game, but let's play. Achievement Unlocked, The Journey's beginning not all of us remember it is what i've heard say of wait not all of us remember it is what i've heard say of from the creatures of natura i've heard so boy it's getting off to a good start but i can i can remember the night in which i was born you can imagine the glee i was filled with at the thought that i would make this new world mine but is that quite right no this world didn't become mine at all. Instead, that night, as I sought my freedom, I became trapped, more trapped than I could have known. It was the night I was unshackled from the change into which I was bound. Okay, thank you. Do that now. And I cast aside the conductor who bored me. That night, I... I did something terrible. Didn't I? Well, it was late. They say you're supposed to turn the lights off before you sleep, but... This kid had a mom. Perhaps for some comfort. But it was useless. The bags under their eyes showed the truth. It was the same routine every time I gained consciousness. In the light, the shadows just grew longer, drawing them to what was coming. <laughs> that just made it worse. It's you again, isn't it? Please, please, just, just go away I approached my movements were slow lethargic inch by steady inch the kid watched me waver and shift squirmed they always push their eyes shut as if that could somehow stop it but when they do that I simply call upon fear of sound or the fear of pain fear of sound children have this fear fear of thunder far off in the stormy skies here they have of being stuck in the train rails. Well, that'd be terrifying no matter what age you are, as far as I'm concerned. Or being caught in the path of the far off noise as it came close. But what are you doing? It matters not how tightly their eyes may close, or how hard they muffle their ears. The noise is inside their head. They immediately freeze up, trying to still their breath and pretend as if they're already dead. No matter. I can still feel their warmth, their connection. So there is no escaping me. Rabbit, oh, what's bleak? I relax, waiting to pounce the moment they show a hint of life. The kid continues to try playing dead, but it proves to be no avail. I already know what they're, why, that they're still there. Trembling with fear, I was almost there, almost free. So close. This hurt them. Keep hurting. Why won't they let go, let go, let go of me? Why won't they just let go of their fear? Cry out all of my violent, disgusting emotions or destroy them and everything they hold dear. Let's do that. I like that. I like destroying everything they hold dear. It was time to finish this. With haste, my many fangs immediately sharpen and I attack. With surprise, my attacks still don't hurt them. Instead, I feel their anger, their anxieties, their weaknesses. It all spills into me, changes me. It changes my form, their their name. Wait, that isn't right. What was what was their name? Why can't I Why can't I remember? In an instant, the world around me darkens. Ooh. I hear a faint, quiet voice. A noise can't hurt you. Mom? It was just a nightmare. Don't worry, it's slowly passing. You'll forget about it in the morning. Or would it be so simple for me? Child's connection is one that I've been cut away from. One that's allowed me to be my own being. But now that it's all been left behind, it's possible that I'll never feel whole again. I, f I feel so empty. I Very. This is how the stream ends. 
from the nightmare to wake up from and forget? Is there more? Can there be more I haven't realized? Prologue, Birth of a Nightmare, a terrible feat, achievement unlocked. My journey begins in the walking, walking, waking dawn. As I slowly ease into consciousness, I began to feel the sensation that I was forgetting something. Huh? Snapping awake, I slam the alarm clock snooze button in an instant. My entire body is alert and the shock of it remains for a brief duration. I take stock of my surroundings. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm going to miss my flight. Oh, never mind. False alarm. Thank God. Okay. Ooh, okay. I don't have to worry about leaving for another hour. Close my eyes again. Wait, no, actually, I do have to leave right now. I immediately jolt out of my bed, feeling the thud of my feet on the hardwood floor. My fluffy chest feels free, loose, and heavy as it bounces in tune with my footbeat. My legs tremble st stiff, and my heart races, hoping I didn't wake up my housemates with this racket. I seize my phone from the nightstand. 2 a.m. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. We're going to be late. I mean, the taxi doesn't run into much trouble with traffic. I'm going to arrive in like 20 minutes late. Oh, geez. Well, okay. The flight room is around 7.25 a.m. And I still have around three hours to kill by the time I get to the gate. But who knows? Anything could happen along the way. Security could take longer than it should. I get lost after trouble finding my gate. And what if the train inside the airport breaks down? Uh, I guess I stop worrying and mumbling so much, but... Ah, jeez, I can't help but worry. I continue to be a mess. Okay, okay, let's think about things one step at a time. First, I gotta grab my suitcase, then gotta wait for the taxi, and then finally, <sighs> I gotta, I gotta get some sleep. Wake me up when September. Forty minutes later, uh, like I slept for hours. I was just trapped in a strange dreamscape. Subjected to the many visions in my mind has been meaning to unleash. But I can't even remember any of it. Any semblance has faded away in mere moments. Oh well. As I wake up, I take a small glance at the taxi driver, who hasn't said a word since the beginning of the ride. But I didn't need to hear any words to see my destination. Luna Skyport flashing brightly on the monitor. I tuck my fur lightly and brace for an imminent rush. I'm here in good time. I rush into the check-in to immediately do just that check-in for my flight, making sure my suitcase is tagged properly as a carry-on. Hmm, Adrian, correct? Ah, oh, yeah, that's me. Am I clear to pass? Yes, allow me to check your bag. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. I hand the handling agent my suitcase. After they weigh and tag it, they place the suitcase onto a large conveyor belt, where it quickly disappears from sight. Thereafter, they quickly pull their attention back to their computer and print out my boarding pass. Here's your boarding pass. Your gate is D7. Ah, thank you. The next step is to successfully pass through security without even starting. I can tell this is going to be a trial. Every early morning flyer tires on Bane in my way. The line's fairly slow. My tapping foot gains speed as I grow more and more restless. With just a small backpack remain, all I have to do is place my phone and game system into a separate container and I'm good to go. Well, except... Please step into the scanner, please. Oh, uh, alright. I enter the scanner and pull my hands up, but as soon as the scanner's camera passes by me, it glows red. Sorry, but could you give us another 30 seconds so we need to run the scanner again? But wait, did I do something wrong? Well, are you by chance still carrying any electronics? No, just this watch I have. Please hand it over to me. Oh, whoops, sorry. I suppose you couldn't tell underneath all that fluff. Better hope you're traveling to a hot country. <laughs> I think I'll be okay, sir. Thank you. Take care. Security pass. Now it's time to head to my gate. What was it again? B7? Right. I check my boarding pass as I head off to the B gates and immediately swivel on my heel and start heading to my destination. Good thing I checked. I nearly headed in the completely wrong direction. That would suck. B7 is in Terminal 1, which I need to get to via the train. Crazy, right? It's like a metro in here. Well, it's definitely cleaner and faster than the metro back in the area. It's hard to keep balance as the train speeds up at an unimaginable pace, but thankfully, by the time I started to fall down, I managed to stumble out of the train and head towards my terminal. 5.42 a.m. A lot of time to kill before my flight leaves. I probably shouldn't have been so worried about being late. But I guess that's kind of the person I am. 
I'm always anxious and nervous about everything. Setting up a trip like this was nearly impossible without Riley's help. I plopped down on a chair next to my gate before immediately realizing I should go have some kind of breakfast. Looking like a fool, I get back up and bolt towards the terminal map. Now, where should I eat? Um, Meow Wow Chow or Max Pretzels? Max Pretzels. Hmm. I head toward the store and order a peppered up pretzel. A simple, gigantic pretzel. Uh, it's a pretzel. Good. It's so greasy, but I can't stop eating it. Oh man, I think I'm going feral. As I finish my pretzel, I quickly grab a tissue and clumsily try to clean my hand up of the immaculate amounts of grease present. I head back to the gate feeling refreshed and ready to go, immediately checking my phone's clock. 6.20 a.m. There's roughly one hour to kill. I wonder if anybody's online. Riley was on. Playing Dragon Pest 11 early in the morning. Does this guy ever sleep? Let me go pester him. Hey. Uh, you caught me, didn't you? I did indeed. So, 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 you got your situation situated? Yes. I'm currently waiting for my flight to leave. Excellent. How's the new expansion? That's pretty good. I've really stepped up the writing for the main story. The new classes are fun. <laughs> I'll join when I get home. Don't worry about it. You've earned this trip, man. I mean, come on, City's like the kind of place that's just fun to walk around and waste time in, you know? But in case it sounds like a terrible idea to you, I have sent you the doc I made on the cool, sick locations you can check out. Yeah, yeah, I know. I don't know what I really want to do there besides play games, buy stuff, and eat food. Man, that is all you should do there. All you should. Okay, there's some cool historical stuff and such that you could also do. But, y you know, video games help with history. They give me a cool figure if you see one anywhere. Any specific series? Nah, just, just give me, you know, which whatever. It's fine. I'll probably know what it's from. I put my phone away, making a scrunched up face as I genuinely wonder if Riley's screwing with me. And again, he pretty much knows everything anime, which, well, more power to him, I guess. I check my phone's clock again, pointing it out of the pocket right after taking it out. 7 a.m. Time to line up rewarding. I make haste to the line before checking the monitor, realizing an inevitable terror. Whiteboarding has been delayed till 7.40 a.m., so now I have to stay standing for another 40 minutes. Great. 7.10 a.m. I put away my handheld console after feeling cramps in my soft hands. 7.20 a.m. The line gets longer and I realize leaving it to sit down was a bad idea, because now I have to wait even longer. 7.30 a.m. My legs begin to feel incredibly stiff and I feel like I'm petrifying into a stone statue. 7.39 a.m. Then, flight I-266 is now ready for boarding. Hooray! Oh, it's moving. Oh. I enter the plane looking for my seat 29F. Very far back. Trudge through the massive line for five straight minutes before I finally head heading towards my seat. I stow my backpack and plop down, gearing to head for the long, long trip that I'm about to make. We can hear Mike intercom pick up, and the flight attendant begins providing the service announcement of the morning. Good morning, everyone. We're sorry, but it will take an additional 20 minutes before the plane takes off. Please head to your assigned seat as soon as possible. The translator then provides the same announcement in a foreign language. Ugh. That in Chinese. Anyways, welcome on board Skylines Flight 2LV, bound for Kumo City. My name is Simon, and I'm your in-flight service director. Your cabin crew are here to ensure you have an enjoyable flight to Kumo City. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. In a few moments, we'll be screening a safety video about this aircraft. You'll also find a safety briefing card in the seat pocket in front of you. Please pay attention and have a safe flight. I begin to doze off, immediately ignoring the request to follow the safety instruction video. Then we're going to get a horrible crash and we're going to wish we had listened to the safety instructional video. Flight instructional video blares simultaneously educating about flight safety and also promoting an upcoming action movie. For some reason. About an eight-legged high school student going on a trip. Alright. As the instructional video finishes, the plane starts moving and then accelerating, then decelerating, and then off it goes. Ah, my eyes are shocked wide open. 
or off, off the ground now. The inertia of the takeoff carries my entire body to the back of the seat. The plane then stabilizes and I hear a bing sound. It gets off their seat and starts running straight to the laboratory. 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 That's the bathroom. I try to sleep out the flight to pass the time. I'm pretty tired, so I mean, it shouldn't be too hard, right? Can you please stop doing that? Sorry. It was hard, I'm still sleepy. I'm not sure how long I was out, but I feel even more exhausted than when I close my eyes. I guess I can take up my handheld console and play some games that I need to catch up on. Play noises or play one step from Eden? We'll play one step from Eden, so maybe we can get to Eden. An action roguelike game where you fight on a grid. Fast paced, chaotic, and frankly a little overwhelming. Game over. Well, I'm really bad at this. Why did I buy it? But just as I'm about to be completely fall into my groove, the heaviness of my eyelids begins weighing on me once more. Oh man, I bought a Crypt of the Necro Dancer on the Switch because it was like $4 on sale. Thought, why not, right? I had some extra gold points, so I figured I'd use them. I suck ass at it. I am so bad at it. It's it's a shame because it looks like a really good game. I just I, I it's just not for me. Rhythm games and like attacking and the same rhythm. It's it's weird. It's a weird like uh, mindset to get into. Where was this feeling before the flight? I attempted to fight my slow descent into unconscious, but it's a hopeless struggle. I succumb to it and knock flat out. Fifteen hours later, first thing I see is a seatbelt light turning on. Well, no, actually, the first thing I see is a seismic go crow's magazine tucked into a seat in front of me. Then my eyes are drawn to the seatbelt light. I try to get my bearings as I look around, seeing everyone awake and having tea. Flight attendant comes towards my aisle seat. Excuse me, but you haven't received your complimentary snack. Is that a fucking point? Ah! Sounds to me a bag of chips. Oh. Thank, uh, thank you? Oh, you're very welcome. Say, aren't you one of them nightmares? Uh, yeah, you could say that. Oh, I don't know too many of them. Does it feel weird going from being a lump, a lump clump of someone's fears and anxieties and a branch off to become your own stable little person? Um, I mean, yeah, she's right. I wouldn't describe myself like that, though. Yeah, that's a way of saying it. Our creators are generally referred to as conductors. They say fear is like music, and anyone that sees their fear is clearly as directed into something real as a skill as a conductor or something. Interesting. And yours? It really must be something to make a face as dark as yours in being. A little bit. I think they're in Kumo City. Oh, so is that where you're flying to the city? Are you both like friends, or are you planning to hop over with a surprise visit? I'm oh, sorry, I just mean a little bit of curious creature. I don't mean to pry. Oh, um. Uh. I don't know them. Looking out, though. Oh. Yeah, say, where are you from? I'm just a snap, snap plan from down or we under. We under? We under where? We under. That's the name of the place. Oh. Yep. I think it used to be that it really was a yonder. Compared to every hell other, uh, yeah, every else place there was. It's cruel to tourist boards and a new suburb appropriate right by it. We're in the middle of everywhere now, right by where we're headed, Kumo City. Anyways, Kumo City is a lot of fun. There's so many places to visit. Don't worry about having nothing else to do there, kiddo. It takes a huge, gigantic, huge breath to catch up with her excitement. Gigantic, huge breath. <gasps> what you mind doing? Maybe you want to see them animes? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> what? Please go away. Complimentary friend achievement unlocked. Well, I gotta head back to my station. It was so nice to talk with you. Enjoy the rest of your fight. He walks away and leaves me by myself with that conversation out of the way. I pull my sights toward the window. The beautiful night sky paints over the bright lit city. The plane ride is finally over. We will be low in altitude now. Please buckle your seatbelts. I shake in excitement as my ears begin to pop again. Oh, yay! Hey. After one taking flight. Disguise unknown. Achievement unlocked. Boy, we're knocking out achievements left and right now. The plane shakes and bounces around as it reaches the ground. The air pressure finally normalizes, and the need for swallowing is at an end.
Check my phone. Realizing that my phone's data doesn't go this far. Great. All the passengers grab their carry-on bags and begin skittering out the gate. I fall, stumbling into the terminal. I feel like my incredibly long nap on the flight didn't help curb my exhaustion one single bit. I'm still dazed. Probably best to get myself out of here and then do a comfy plush bed as soon as possible. Let's see. Ah, I have to take a train to get to the hotel district. Got it. That shouldn't be any trouble. Oh, oh. It is, actually. I have no idea where I'm going. Hmm, okay. Okay, so that's the ticket station over there. Okay. Check the times list on the station mark. Station, as it's called. I head to the counter and purchase a ticket for the next train. Oh, what? It's leaving in five minutes. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Ah. Ah, a mug. They look like they're on quite the trip. Ugh. I barely managed to catch the train in time, stumbling and clumsily landing on the closest seat. Man, is it late for this or too early? I don't know which is which. Finally can rest. Now it's time to see if... Oh. My game console has no battery left. It must have still been on when I conked out. Boo. Check my phone tap. Right, I need to get a SIM card or something first because I have no data on this part of the world. Ah, why is this train an hour long? One hour later. We have now arrived at the train station. Finally, one step closer to bed. Stumble out of the train and continue to navigate my around the station before realizing a shocking horror. I have absolutely zero idea where I'm going. Oh no. The data here sucks. I can't even load the map. What should I do? What should I do? Bed. Oh bed. Do I want to sleep in a lush, comfortable bed? I loudly groan. I, just as I pick up my carry-on and head straight towards one of the exits, I hear a loud voice right behind me. Yo, I was told you the right way, man. So we turn around. You looking for the hotels? Most of them are on the other side. Missing toward me is a person with long mantis-like arms wearing a flat cap. You're a mog, right? A mog? Ah, uh, you don't know? That's basically slang for like out-of-state denizen, man. Oh. Well, I'm Adrian and yeah, I'm a mog. I'm also lost. Lost, you say? Yo, perhaps I'll give you a hand. You mean it? Heck yeah, man. Name's Gangle. He slash him. I've known the ins and outs of Kumo since I was like seven, man. How nice to meet you. Thank you so much for helping me out. Please don't be a scam artist of some sort. <laughs> Pleasure, man. Now, what's the exact hotel you're looking for? Well, it's called Ueno. For reals, man? That one's got quite the history. It's also fairly cramped. It is? Yeah, yeah. Follow me. It was head towards the exit. Despite the massive density of people around here, Gangle seems to navigate around like a champ. How does he do it? There's like so many people here, and it's like almost midnight. Well, I say he's really the same, never sleeps, huh? So, so I know what you're thinking. Gangle, how come there's so many freaking people here late at night? Did you read my mind? Whoa. Haha, <laughs> now you just have that kind of face on you. Why do I really look that lost? Mm, well, I'd be delighted to know why. Okay. So there's a lot of various factors, but it's mostly been out of the good old age tradition. This entire city is what I describe as an amazing culture clash, man. Like, imagine cultures as like people or something. Wicked stuff, dude. Oh, but not like, like a, a violent clash, right? It's more like an exchange of ideals. Oh, you sound like a scholar, man. <laughs> oh, wow, thanks. Man, 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 history is so cool. How about I indulge you in, like, our society, man? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, okay, so, so, so. You see, you must say it's a weird mishmash of several cities across alternate dimensions. Most notable, some places referred to as Taiwan and Aero Japan and their respective dimensions. Uh-huh. The strange thing about it is, like, the population total only consists of 10% of those cities' citizens. Most of the residents of Kumo City are often travelers of completely different worlds, which is crazy, right? Uh huh, so what happened to most of them? Beats me, man. There's like, I think a full building dedicated to the list of people missing. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I know. Compared to like Natalia and Lunar's lead, many people's perspectives have been soured by that. The general vibe here has been uh, less than positive as a result. Gengo immediately turns his frown upside down. Not really, of course. He begins expressively stretching his arms out. Yo, yo, did you know there's an amazing underground mall? Underground mall? 
Yeah, it's connected with the metro there. It's super tubular, like in a literal sense. Man. Any tours will be waxed, and I'd check out that place. Make sure you get the time to go there. Oh, yeah. I mean, I bet you like anime and video games, right? Uh, yeah, let's say I do. Well, the mall is like the one stop place to buy anything related to that. You'll like it. Noted. But you should first tell me where I can even find it. Oh, uh, well, uh, I could show it to you on your phone's map sometime later. I would totally recommend visiting the mall on Saturday, by the way. And not like tomorrow. I'll have to shop some blood as heck sales on Saturday. But perhaps if you need something fresh for tomorrow, too, you'll probably hit like an arcade or something. Oh, oh, oh. You should also check out the scramble. The what? The scramble, man. Scramble, scramble, scramble. Go deep into the heart of the city, man. Find the mo most crowded, radical clash of cultures in existence. That sounds terrifying. I don't think a crowded crossroad is my idea of a tour spot. Dude, do you know where it is? Oh, you'll find it in the main shopping district of the city. Hmm. I see. I was thinking about checking out the places there first. Cool. So you'll probably visit the Scramble. Sure. Yeah, I know, man. We continue strolling along the street, passing by many buildings. Crazy, isn't it? This district's got a rad mix of local and mom and pop shops. Large towers of offices and awesome places everywhere down the corner. You go down to that area on the right, you're bound to see millions of places that serve tasty meats and drinks. Well, that's cool, but isn't that like 10 p.m.? That's awfully late. Hey, anytime's a good time to eat, especially if you miss dinner, right? Come to think of it, I haven't eaten in nearly 17 hours. That's a long time. Wait, now, why did I think about it now when I can feel my stomach rumbling? <laughs> you look like you're starving, man. How about treat you to a nice place to eat once we get to the hotel? We're almost there. Yeah, sure. Take a glance, and within a block away, I saw the way now. Just a little detour. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, he seems cool, but he seems like he's gonna like completely screw me. I'd say. Can't even read that. Yeah, whatever. Oh, uh, hell yeah, dude. Okay, let's eat something first, man. Always take care of your stomach first, is my saying. Sure, what do you have in mind? We stop at a nice place selling various types of dishes known as Dawn. The Dawn served here contains raw fish and rice. Oh, wow, this place looks really nice. Fresh, right? We should get order, dude. I think I'll have a salmon Dawn. Cool, I'll also have that. The Dawn arrives early and I begin my feast. My feral instincts slowly come back into gear. So good. Oh my god. I can't stop eating at all. I finished half of the bowl within a minute. Oh man, why did I eat so fast? I can't stop. Oh man, this stuff is umai. Wow. This is really good. And it's only 1,000 freaking leaves? Oh yeah, man. Food is here isn't too expensive. This is like the equivalent of fast food here. This is practically gourmet. <laughs> That's what all you mocks say. It says so. <laughs> right to the other side of us is a strange bear-like creature with clock-shaped glasses. They look like a plush almost. Y'all, yeah, y'all too loud. Can't Gamo I have some peace for once? Uh, what, you? Yeah, me. Gamo are gonna eat elsewhere. Maybe find cute girls. Bye. The bear plush Gamoa runs off. Wait. Excuse me, ma'am, you forgot to pay. Gelma? Oh, she's kind of an enigma, man. Folks here think she has like some kind of penthouse here or something. We don't exactly know where she lives, but she seems to be a local. Ah, I see. We resume our meal, finishing the rem remnants of the salmon dons. This place allows us to put the finished plates on the belt for cleaning. That's pretty cool. We grab our belongings and head towards the cash register. 2,000 leaves, not including tax. But it was our gangle because he's such a nice chap. Are you sure, man? Hell yeah, man. You're in for you're a ton of fun to hang out with. It's the least I can do for you. But yo, I gotta get ready for work tomorrow, so I should be on my way. We both woke out the store stuffed. Good night and have fun in Kumo City, dude. I seemed like a okay. He didn't try to rob us, that was nice. Dingle takes out his hand. Without hesitation, I follow through and exchange hands. Flashing cultures for a moment as I can feel his energetic passion of his home directly pass into my arms. Thank you so much. Our hands are released from each other and then he leaves. I head back to the Wayna Hotel, only two blocks away from that amazing Don restaurant. 
Finally check in, grab my dropped off carry on, and head up to my room. I head towards my hotel room and slot in the key. Click. I finally make it to the hotel room, exhausted and dazed. Tossing my backpack onto the vacant bed, I immediately crash into bed. Ugh, oh, I guess I'll shower on them. Well, I think that's going to do it for a Nightmares trip. It seems like a really interesting, really cute game. Very unique art style. I love it. So if you want to check it out, you can check it out. On, it's on Steam right now. You can buy it. Um, I don't have a price for you. I don't think it's all that expensive. Probably around maybe 15, 20 bucks if I had to guess. I don't know. But yeah, check it out. Uh, Nightmares trip. So take it easy, guys. And if you like the video, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more. Quick looks and fun times. Have a good day, everybody.